In 2004, the internet witnessed an epic legal clash between tech giant Microsoft and an unlikely opponent, a high school student named Mike Rowe. This is a David vs. Goliath type of story. Let's see what happened. In 2003, a Canadian high school student named Mike Rowe registered the domain name microsoft.com. Since my name is Mike Rowe, I thought it would be funny to add soft to the end of it. Rowe intended to use the domain for his part-time web design business, but Microsoft saw the name as trademark infringement and demanded that he give it up. Rowe registered the name in August. In November, he received a letter from Microsoft's Canadian lawyers, smart and bigger, informing him he was committing copyright infringement and that it could cause confusion among consumers. Rowe, however, argued that he had a right to use his own name in his business and that the domain name was a clear parody of Microsoft. I didn't think they would get all their high-priced lawyers to come after me, Rowe said. He wrote back asking to be compensated for giving up his name. Microsoft's lawyers offered him $10 in US funds, then he asked for $10,000.